Hello friends, this is Normal here for Technique and today we are going to test out the camera on the Coolpad Note 3. So this is the detailed review of the camera on this uh, device. This has a 13 megapixel rear camera with LED flash and a 5 megapixel front facing camera. So this device has uh, quite a quite a lot of interesting aspects uh, like a 3 gigs of RAM and a fingerprint sensor below the price point of rupees 10k so this is the device you can see uh, the rear facing uh, 13 megapixel camera with led flash and a front facing 5 megapixel camera so before we go into the samples let's first have a look at the camera interface so this is the camera interface on the coolpad note 3 so it's a fairly good looking interface uh, it's a clutter free interface and uh, you have every other control uh, uh, well within the reach and you can see on the left side you have the option to switch to front facing camera and uh, we have this button to enable or disable flash which is quite good because it's a big button and uh, you can easily switch off or switch on the flash and then uh, at, the, at the right side you have this option uh, which wherein you can uh, select the, uh, the the mode we have the normal shot uh, face beauty hdr dim light shots smile shots panorama and the gesture shots so we're not going to explain these aspects but they are self-explanatory you know uh, already know the hdr dim light uh, and panorama aspects so those are the options so we have selected the normal mode then uh, if you if you see here at the bottom you have these three modes uh, one is video then second is photo and the third one is the pro mode so this is the pro mode uh, which also has option to uh, customize your uh, 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 the settings like ISO, white balance uh, and other stuff so you can see here you can manually focus and then uh, you can uh, see you can change the ISO exposure and there are the other steps so these are the options in the pro mode so it's a dial interface so it's with pretty easy to use as well now if you go to the uh, the normal mode we have three dots available here so if you click these three dots you have this uh, quick option to enable HDR then you have this FX so quite a lot of FX are included uh, nine FX are included and apart from that you also have the settings so here we have the delayed shot the brightness uh, uh, you can increase the brightness of the display uh, touch shutter location uh, then you have the direct scene and advanced settings so advanced settings you can select the preview size full screen or standard 4 is to 3 then shutter sound uh, fast capture and the reset option you can also store uh, the detail photos in uh, the sd card so that's the options available so overall uh, we would say this is a, a fairly good looking interface pretty uh, easy to use you have this pro mode then uh, video mode uh, video mode you can record videos in uh, 1080p full hd you can see here the solution is full hd even in videos we have this fx so all in all it's a pretty good interface uh, uh, fairly easy to use as well and uh, you have almost all options available so here are some of the samples taken with this device and while uh, we are impressed with the overall uh, uh, feature so offered on this camera app we are kind of disappointed with the, the clarity of photos taken using this device we are not saying this is a really bad camera but it's not really the, uh, a great camera in this price point as well uh, the photos look uh, pretty ordinary not really the uh, best uh, shot uh, the colors look decent um, uh, the clarity was not that great the sharpness levels were not impressive but overall you can say this device can produce uh, decent shots uh, if there is good amount of lighting uh, the close-up shots uh, or rather the, the shots the macro shots uh, which were taken uh, were much better than the regular shots which we took you can see uh, the colors look much better on uh, uh, the close-up shots and uh, the detailing was also slightly better there uh, but overall we would say this is not a great device uh, for camera experience it's not bad but it's not a great device in this price point and um, uh, photos looked uh, pretty ordinary we would say uh, considering that this device has some great hardware uh, the camera wasn't uh, up to the mark of which we uh, wanted uh, this device to be when we compare the competition uh, it offers uh, the competition does offer some great uh, phones um, like the honor 4x the 4c which were camera specific phones and in when you compare with that uh, the coolpad note 3 uh, was a disappointment but having said that it can produce some decent shots not really the best in this category 
Now talking about the low light experience, uh, with adequate uh, uh, artificial lighting, uh, the camera was able to produce decent shots. You can see here some of the uh, shots taken with uh, artificial lighting, uh, but extreme low light conditions, it was noisy, that is uh, again uh, not uh, surprising because this is a budget smartphone, uh, but overall we would say with uh, decent uh, lighting, it was uh, able to produce some uh, decent shots and the flash worked uh, pretty well and it was able to light up the object uh, pretty well and uh, the, sh the noise levels were kept to minimum so that was something uh, good about the, the camera the flash worked pretty well so these were some of the low light images we think the processing uh, mechanism of uh, coolpad doesn't really work that great and the photos uh, lack uh, detailing if you see the video recording which is again full hd uh, video recording sample uh, it's again pretty average nothing really to talk about that uh, again sharpness levels are way too low and uh, not that great uh, video sample using uh, this device so now talking about the 5 megapixel front facing camera so selfies have now become a, a really big uh, criteria for most of the smartphones and the 5 megapixel shooter on this device was uh, fairly decent uh, there was a decent amount of clarity the colors looked uh, decent uh, although not really the best uh, selfie experience but still uh, it's uh, above average selfie experience on this device and um, can produce some decent uh, shots for social sharing so that was the selfie experience with the 5 megapixel camera so that's all with the camera review of uh, the cool pad note 3 so all in all uh, we would say uh, this is just an average camera in this price point uh, if you're looking at the best camera experience in the price of less than 10k uh, we wouldn't really recommend this device uh, this uh, just produces some decent photos not really the best in this category so uh, this uh, device has uh, exceptional hardware like the 3 gigs of ram fingerprint sensor octa-core chipset uh, hd display and uh, the latest standard 5.1 so all in all this is a really great value for money device with uh, overall great performance as well but if you're looking for the best camera experience we wouldn't really recommend this so that's all uh, with the camera review of the coolpad note 3 so hope you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to youtube channel for more videos thanks for watching have a great day